changing setting can make you pro in the game and in this video i will tell you how hi guys kazuki here and in this video we will talk about 10 such settings that can enhance your gameplay and make you better at the game let's start with the most basic one the camera height settings you can go to the settings and find the option here as you can see the field of view is too limited and you can barely see Zilong's name. Turning this setting to high will instantly increase your view and displays a larger map area. I will turn the feature to low for you guys to compare. The difference is right before you so make sure you turn the camera height to high. The next setting is creep HP. This feature will greatly help you if you try to play core or the jungler role. For example, you can see here. I have taken retribution to farm but I can't really find out the HP of the buff. The buff sure has an indicator mark to indicate when to last hit and secure the buff. But the retribution damage text is not shown on the retry icon. So to get a better grip in the last hitting with accuracy, you need to change and set the creep HP setting to on. Doing this will let you see the retribution damage directly on the icon and also on the HP of the creeps. Using this, you can properly plan when to last hit the creep or just save the retribution for better objective like securing the turtle or the lord. This feature also lets you also see the total HP and the remaining HP of the Lord and help you make your decisions if you can secure the Lord or you need more farm. And to remind you guys, we are just 500 subs away and 20 epic skins giveaway is just days away. Join as soon as possible by liking, subscribing and commenting on the video and I wish you guys good luck. The next setting is the damage text feature and you can turn this feature on here. As you can see here, the damage done by Moscow is not known and also you cannot tell what type of damage you are dealing. That is a crit damage, passive damage, magic damage and so on. Turning this setting on will let you know the amount of damage your hero is dealing, the type of damage he is dealing. For example, I can see Moscow is dealing lots of crit damage and most players can even guess if the player has built defensive items or not just by watching the damage text. The next setting is merge text. The toggle option can be found here. It's suitable for heroes like Chang'e that deals insane amount of small damage. All of the damage dealt will be total out merged together and will be shown as the total damage dealt by the hero. As you can see here, as I'm applying constant damage to Zilong, the damage text is getting added and the total damage is shown. The next setting will be the advanced aim mod. We can see here I'm trying to hit the load but Zilong is marked and targeted by Moscow. Even when I go near the load, Zilong is being marked and targeted. So to manually select between the heroes, load or minions and turrets, we need to enable the advanced aiming mod from the settings. Now you can see I can hit Zilong and also switch to load according to my will. This can be done by using these additional buttons beside the basic attack button, 
This give an advantage in prioritizing the main objective when enemies are around. You can do this with the turret button too. It will help prioritize the turret and help you mark the objective according to your will. You might have faced the issue in game when you try to mark a marksman and the tank gets marked instead. This can be a great issue and eventually can make you lose the game. This can be solved by activating the hero lock mode option from the settings. As you can see here, now I can manually switch between two targets and lock my aim accordingly. There is also another advantage of activating hero lock mode. You can gain an advantage against heroes like Sun. Using the hero lock option will make your character target the real Sun and you can easily track him down and mark him. There are heroes who have long range skills beyond the vision limit. For example, we have Moscow. His skill can travel the whole map, but the only issue he has is the vision range of ultimate. And to solve this issue, there is a setting called camera shift. Turning this setting on will let heroes with long range ultimates get a better vision of their surroundings and mark the enemy easily. This setting not only helps in marking enemy, but also helps in scouting the area while using this skill. Chang'e can benefit from this feature by getting increased long-ranged vision and mostly use it to steal enemy buff and evade ganks. The next setting will be fixed joystick setting. The default setting is helpful for the player using the index finger to control the movement. The setting can be found here. And after activating this setting, the joystick is locked in a fixed position which gives you better control over the movement with your thumb finger. The next setting will be the speed mode. If you are having constant lags in your internet connection, this setting will help you stabilize the connection and helps you get better ping. Just remember to toggle it on and off if the situation persists. The last setting will be my personal recommendation, the custom UI settings. I usually move the attack and other ping notification to the right side of the screen. and the killing notification below the map to get a better vision of the area. And this also helps me from getting distracted. I also reduce the transparency of the map. Feel free to do so if you like it. I will quickly show you how it looks in game. As you can see here, the killing notification doesn't bother me that much. And the ping feature also looks clean on the corner. And that will be it for the 10 settings in Mobile Legends you need to turn on to play like pro. So what feature do you think is the most useful of them all? 
डू कमेंट डाउन बिलो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग कीप सपोर्टिंग काजुकी ऑफिशियल